Hey everyone! If you believe the Amazon App Store is all your Fire Stick offers, you'd be mistaken. There's an entire realm accessible through special downloader codes that transform your device into a hub of unlimited entertainment. I'm talking about movies, live television, and even premium sporting events. Everything available within seconds. In this guide, I'll reveal the strongest codes of 2025, the safe method to use them, and the hidden app stores. Amazon wants you never discover. Begin by navigating to your home screen and locating that magnifying glass icon. Click down, then press the center button on your controller. A keyboard will pop up. Next, enter Downloader. It should quickly pop up as a recommended option. Move down, select it, and press the center button one more time. This takes you directly to the correct app, which is orange. Let's get it installed. The app's information page will appear. Simply press the center button once and the download starts. Let it reach 100%. Being patient is key right now. After it completes, you'll see launch now, but wait before launching it right now. Since it displays launch now, press the home button on your controller. Next, we definitely need to go to your Fire Stick system menu to modify a crucial setting. The quickest way is to slide all the way to the right side of your home screen. A settings option will appear underneath. Move down and we're looking for the option called My Fire TV. If your device isn't using the latest software, My Fire TV could be located in another spot. If you have an older version, the name could be My Device. Whatever it displays, this is the option we must select. Go ahead and select it. On my screen, Developer Options is already showing. If it's not there, no worries. I'll quickly show the steps to enable it. Navigate up and select About. Now, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV selected, quickly press the middle button nine times. A message will pop up stating, Congratulations! You are now a developer. When you see that, press the back button and Developer Options will now pop up in the menu. Let's go to Developer Options right now. The first option is ADB Debugging. Press the middle button to turn it to the on position. If a small dialog box pops up, move down and select Allow. Next, select Install Unknown Apps. You'll definitely see Downloader listed right there. You could see other applications as well. Move to Downloader and press the middle button to enable it. On some older Fire Sticks, this specific option might not exist. Instead, it could display apps from unknown sources and you can just switch that single setting to on. If that's what you see, simply enable it. Once that's done, Press the home button on your controller. Now, let's locate that new downloader app. The simplest approach is to move nearly to the bottom and select the icon with three squares and a plus mark. This screen displays every single app you've got installed. The newest applications always pop up at the very end. Simply move all the way to the bottom and you'll quickly find the app you just added Let's open Downloader right now. If a small window instantly pops up, simply press the middle button to dismiss it. This app allows you to visit almost any website. To enter a URL, press the middle button twice. A keyboard will pop up so you can enter the web address. Right now, I'll bring you to my exclusive website. I'll display the address on the screen while I enter. Be absolutely sure you enter it exactly or you could see a connection error. Take it slow. Stop the video if I'm going too quickly. After the address is correctly entered, select and press go. Let's hold on for the download to finish. If you happen to get a connection error or a check link notification, it indicates your service provider is blocking the connection. Just enable your VPN or switch its location and that should resolve the problem. When the download finishes, you'll be prompted to install the app. Move over and select Install. When the installation process finishes, move over and choose Done. Right after you choose Done, you'll go back to this screen. 
Now move over, choose Delete. And then once more, move and select Delete. That's all the downloading we require from the Downloader app right now. Press the Home button. Next, we must go back to the Fire Stick menu to modify one last important setting. Remember, move all the way to the bottom. Select my Fire TV or my device, then go to Developer Options. And one more time, enter Install Unknown Apps. Select that choice. Now you'll see. Unlin is showing in the list. If you see other apps, move down to select Unlin and press the middle button once to enable it. Once everything's set up, press the home button one more time. Next, we must locate the new Unlin app. Remember, just move over and select the icon with three squares and a plus mark. All your apps are on this screen and the newest one is always at the end. That's where you'll find the Unlin app we just got. Let's open it up. The first thing it needs is a new library. Press the middle button on your controller twice, just like that. Another keyboard will pop up, asking for the specific library code. Friends, I built my very own private app store, providing access exclusively to my loyal viewers and subscribers. I put in work to fill my store with only the finest, latest apps. All I request for my work, maintaining the apps current, making this video, and answering your questions, is that you press the subscribe button. That quick click tells me thank you for providing all of this at no cost. And a huge thank you to all my subscribers who are already following me. Now that you're a subscriber, go ahead and type this code. Be sure to take it slow it must be entered exactly as displayed. Or you could get an error. If I'm going too fast, just stop the video. After you type the code correctly, select and choose Next, and allow the library to load up. Welcome to my private app store. There are 70 incredible apps here for free on-demand content, live content, live sports, and much more. People often ask, which are my top picks? My personal favorites for cord cutting are listed right in the welcome message. Many subscribers also ask about VPNs. I've included an important message right here, so please take a quick moment to read all the information on the welcome screen. Once you've read everything, press the middle button on your controller three times. This will immediately organize my store for you. Move up and down for categories or right and left for the apps inside them. Right now, I'll demonstrate a few options, show you how the system works, and how to begin enjoying your free content. Now move down through the categories until you find category number 13. Cool YouTube examples. The first app I strongly recommend downloading here is IPVANISHVPN. This is my number one choice for staying secure and anonymous while using all these applications. Some people have issues installing or opening apps because their internet provider blocks the connection. Using IPVanish VPN secures you and bypasses any throttling or blocks from your provider. To download IPVanish VPN, you can select it and choose Download. Or, what I prefer to do to always ensure I receive the latest version is return to the Fire Stick home screen. Find the magnifying glass, move down, choose the search bar, <laughs> And when the keyboard pops up, enter I-P-V-A-N-I-S-H. Sometimes you will need to type it in fully to make it appear. So just take it slow here. Type it in exactly as I am. Then you'll notice it in the suggestions. Select and press the middle button. On this page, choose the app from the list. And in this menu, press the middle button to begin the installation process. After it's installed, press the middle button to launch it and you can log in. Don't have an account yet? No worries. I'll demonstrate a really easy way to get one so you can browse safely and access all these amazing apps. Grab your phone or computer and launch your browser. Go to the website address displayed on screen or simply point your camera at the QR code to arrive there instantly. The link is also included in the video description and the comment section. Pick a plan. 
Even one month is enough to test it out and experience the difference for yourself. Once you successfully sign up, they'll email you your username and password. With those key details, your Fire Stick will be safe and private. Log in to the IP Vanish app and press Connect. There's one important setting I want to show. Press the gear icon in the IP Vanish app. A menu pops up, I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If you enable this setting, you'll never need to manually remember to enable your VPN every time you power up your device. It'll connect by itself, so you never need to stop your movie just to check if your VPN is active. It just handles it for you. Now that you're fully protected, let's begin getting some more great apps. Press home and return to your applications. Open the Unlin app once more and go back to the same category. Here are the next four apps I suggest for on-demand shows, sports, and live content. You'll find four more applications to download here. Make sure to read the descriptions so you know exactly what each one provides and how to operate it. Here's the first one. You'll find an app for live channels, special events, and more. Choose it, press download. And now we'll just wait for this to hit 100%. It could only take a few seconds if your internet is quick or a bit longer if it's slower. But either way, this download step always completes. So just remain patient and allow it to do its thing. This relies on your internet speed and the file size how long it could take. But when the window pops up, choose Install App, move over and press Install. Now it's going through the installation so we'll hold on until that hits 100%. This step can take a bit longer than downloading, but honestly, it's completely normal. And after it's done, we'll be ready to move forward. After that, it'll bring us right back into the store so we can immediately get more apps. Next, you'll notice an app built specifically for sports. Select it and press download. Here comes another progress bar. All we need to do is allow it to climb to 100%. Depending on your internet connection, this part could fly by or take a short moment. Don't worry though, it's just part of the process and we'll be moving on right after. When you notice the small window, choose Install App, move over and press Install. Depending on your specific device, this could be fast or take a moment, but either way, it always completes and will move forward as soon as it does. Now, find an app that gives you both movies and TV shows. Select, choose, download, and allow it to finish. We'll hold on here for a bit while it fills up to 100%. I know it feels like we've done this step, but it's all part of the required setup. Just hang in there. This won't take forever, and we'll be on to the next step before you know it. When the install window pops up, choose Install App, move over, and choose Install. Now, some apps in my store actually need a separate player to function properly. The one you just got for movies and TV shows is exactly like that. You'll see the title clearly mentions it needs another player. It could seem a bit confusing initially, but the description explains everything and it'll make total sense after you begin using the apps. Let's get that required player app now. Find the app, choose download and hold on for it to finish. Almost there. Just allow this one to load all the way up to 100%. I know we've had several of these waits already, but that's just how the process works. Hang in there, it won't be much longer. And when the window pops up, install it just like before. And that's it. We just got four awesome apps. Remember, there are 70 total in my store, so don't feel limited by what I've displayed here. My top favorites are easily found in category one, top apps. The apps in that category are my absolute favorites. I use them every day. Explore the store and download as many of the apps as you wanna try. 
Now, I know we just installed some really fantastic apps for free movies, TV, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. But before you launch any of these, I always recommend enabling your VPN first. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribes and supports this channel. It means the world and helps me out a ton. I appreciate you all for taking your time with me. I can't wait to read your comments and see you again in the next video.